now that I'm a father, I think I have more of a drive. I want my kids to have the best of the best. I want, my, I want to have everything. I want my family to grow up on things, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot, my dad did a lot for me, but I want to do better for my kids. Are you ready to jump into the captivating world of reality TV shows and begin an adventure that takes you deep into the heart of Louisiana's swamps? If you've tuned in to the hit series Swamp People, you've probably seen the courage of daring shooters who risk their lives to capture and kill alligators and other deadly creatures. And among these shooters, J. Paul Molinaire is one who stands out among all as he was a skilled MMA fighter with a fierce passion for the swamp life. But what really happened to J. Paul Molinaire from Swamp People and why did he suddenly disappear from the series Spotlight? Was it a tragic accident, illegal activity, or something even more sinister? Stay tuned until the very end to discover the shocking truth. Because we're father and son, don't mean we gotta be father and son. You can be best friends, you can do a lot more than just be the boss of a son or be uh, the parent. Be his friend. First, let's take a quick look at Jay Paul's early life before joining Swamp People. So, this American skilled alligator hunter, TV artist and actor was born in Louisiana in the United States on August the 20th, 1984. Paul was born in a house where you hunt alligators and the deadliest creatures to survive the day and that's why this little boy's fate was already decided by his parents as they raised him in such a way that he has seen alligators more than humans and friends. And that's how, from a young age, he was trained for perfect shots, fishing techniques and later this practice became a passion for Paul. Not only was the son now a trained hunter, but Paul's father was also a well-known alligator trapper in Louisiana who had appeared on the reality television series Swamp People on the History Channel. So one thing was clear by looking at Paul's family, everyone was a death ditcher who loved to take risks. However, when Paul was only 9 years old, he joined his father in alligator hunting. He became proficient at capturing crocodiles and soon developed a fascination for them. He also picked up aiming skills from his household and he, his siblings and his father regularly went on adventures to fish together. Even though he loved to hunt and fish, Paul went to school and completed his education at Terrebonne High School in Homer, Louisiana. He served in the US Marine Corps for four years after wrapping up high school and his experience in the Marines helped him acquire professionalism, determination and physical endurance which ultimately proved useful in his hunting, fishing and television careers. But after all this, Paul restored his love for alligator shooting and continued to labour alongside his father and siblings where they frequently caught hundreds of alligators in a season and showed us the perks of living in a jungle. Well, where everything was going on its track, something unexpected happened in Paul's life and suddenly the ball of luck dropped in Paul's court. In 2011, the Swamp People producers had their eyes set on adding the best of their team and were well aware of who to contact. Finally, they decided to go with Paul, the skilled hunter whose name was already known for the nature of the swamp. Well, Paul was not only a famous hunter now, but he also had a profession in acting. The Magnificent Seven and NCIS New Orleans are just two films and TV shows in which he has acted. Moreover, as a motivational speaker, he's delivered encouraging addresses at conventions and meetings nationwide, inspiring young people to pursue their goals and never give up. Despite his fame in the TV industry and the world of entertainment, he sticks to his origins and still goes alligator hunting with his family. Undoubtedly, the entire cast of a reality TV show is one of its most engaging elements. Paul and his father, RJ Molinaire, have won over crowds better than any other pair in the world of Swampy Pond. There is a solid reason why most people consider these two guys to be the show's top performers. Thanks to their skilled and courageous method of crocodile hunting, they've cultivated a dedicated fan base who impatiently turn in to watch their every move. Well, there is no disagreement that reality television often comes with unpleasant shocks. The unexpected events can occasionally be very entertaining, but they can also have negative real-life effects and sadly this time, the shocking news affects Paul's fans all over the world and leaves them wondering what exactly happened behind the scenes. A maze of unanswered queries and never-ending rumours was left in their wake when Paul and RJ Molinaire abruptly left the television series. So why would they choose to take such a radical decision? 
The truth is that Molinaire's exit from the series was caused by his arrest on battery-related charges, and during their period on the series, RJ and Paul reportedly encountered some legal issues as well. In 2016, they were imprisoned on battery-related allegations. Moreover, according to a recent news report, a fight broke out near the Borgla Rose Highway. A 24-year-old man and two well-known TV personalities, RJ and J. Paul Molinaire, reportedly got into a violent fight near Roland's Mini Mart. The victim claims that while at a gas station food store, the Molinaire's father and son assaulted him with bottles. The victim suffered injuries such as a black eye, an inflamed mouth, and an injury on the brow. The victim claimed that after he and the Molinaires got into a fight over words earlier in the day, they embarked on him and assaulted him. What sparked the verbal dispute between the victim and the Molinaires is still unidentified. However, the victim's wounds indicate that the attack was quite serious. The Molinaires eventually handed themselves into law enforcement after arrest warrants were issued for them, resulting from the incident. However, how soon after the event they were imprisoned is still unknown. But after their capture, the Molinaires were freed on bond. Molinaires disappeared from Swamp People after being arrested. At the time of their arrest, the show had already been extended for another season. However, Molinaires' legal issues caused them to leave the series. As one of the most prominent and recognized cast members, Molinaire's exit from Swamp People was a serious setback for the television series, and his loss was noticed by viewers. However, the incident ultimately prompted concerns about prominent figures' demeanor and duty to the general public. The Molinaires are well known for being television personalities and have some power over their followers. However, law enforcement agencies are treating the situation significantly because they were taken into custody and freed on bond. Molinaires have mainly avoided the spotlight since they faced legal problems. They remain quiet regarding their exit from Swamp People or their legal issues. But what is your favorite Paul doing now and how is he spending life? So, numerous pictures on his Instagram account show that Paul Molinaire has enjoyed spending time with his beloved family since leaving the popular television series Swamp People. He's a loving parent who frequently sees his kids on exciting game animal trips. Well, the Molinaire family has a strong history of hunting, so it's influential to see that J. Paul is continuing the practice for his children. On the other side, Grandfather Molinaire has demonstrated his remarkable arm wrestling skills in several competitions. He stunned his rivals by winning the prize championships in the left and right handed Mississippi Arm Wrestling Contest in September of 2019. His unmatched resilience and perseverance can be seen in these accomplishments. Additionally, Paul has actively used his powerful social media networks to advertise and promote rural companies and brands, so it's not a carnival of fun for him. Seeing him employ his limelight to promote under-the-radar companies and boost the local economy is endearing. Despite the fact that there isn't any immediate discussion of both him and his father coming to the show, it's a curious idea to consider. For now, Paul lives a peaceful life away from the spotlight, relishing the ordinary joys of family, hunting and society. Well, one thing we can't deny is that in the realm of reality television, J. Paul Molinaire is widely recognized. Molinaire has captured the hearts and minds of fans all over the globe with his sturdy, appealing appearance, fearless attitude and passion for the great outdoors. But what is the current worth of J. Paul Molinaire? Although J. Paul's work on Swamp People is what most people recognize him for, he's also establishing himself in other fields. In addition to being an accomplished alligator hunter, he's a blessed mixed martial artist. In order to demonstrate that he qualifies as a power to be recognized both inside and outside of the swamp, Paul has fought competitively in various fighting sports, including Thai kickboxing, martial arts and MMA. Despite all of his victories, Paul's wealth is one of his most remarkable qualities. Different sources estimate his net worth to be $800,000. This is no minor victory, particularly in light of his modest upbringing. However, Swamp People has contributed to J. Paul's growing wealth, but he's also made wise financial decisions over the years. In order to diversify his sources of revenue, he made real estate and other business investments. Moreover, he earned a sizable social media fan base that's contributed to developing his worth. So, we can estimate now that his worth is a never-ending thing that will still rise day by day.